we're off to Swift to see the brand new Kentucky 874. <laughs> in my car. I'm, um, I'm used to it now. I used to be a bit intimidated by its size but I've been driving around since we sold my car. I've been driving it around and uh, I quite like the tank feel. So Woodall Services entrance here is closed. We'd normally come in here around this road and back here. Lynn's thought put off a junction early. Figure a route out. Figure a route out. Yay! They're all free but one. Should we get something to eat? For breakfast. <laughs> what are you going for? We, don't make it look like it's just me, are going for the Mega Melt, which is sausage, bacon, egg, and cheese. Don't say it. Let's hit the road. We're at Swift and it's blue sky. Exciting. New graphics are down that way. Look how big it is. This is the first Contiki 874 ever produced. This one is fresh off the production line. Excuse my hair, it's a little bit windy. Steve, why don't you take everyone for a look around the outside? I'm going to go in because this wind is doing no good for my hair. Okay, first impressions. The low profile front, that is fantastic. We've always had the overcab bed, which has been handy for the boys, but I do like the low profile. Uh, new graphics, they're looking really, really neat. Love these, these graphics. We've got a 240 volt socket down here. The door, I noticed the door is much wider, so that's going to be much, much easier getting in and out. The toilet's on this side for emptying the loo. External gas barbecue point, always handy for cooking outside in the summer. You've got a slide out locker down here and another one. It's a small garage to access right under the seats there and that goes right under the floor. So I like that. Look in here, we've got a small garage door here. And by the looks of it, there's a bigger one on the other side. Let's go and have a look. I'm loving the shape of the rear. That looks fantastic. Again, a couple of cameras up here for your reversing. And this side's got the big garage door. Let's have a look through here. Look, you've got lighting in there and... Oh, hi, Linz. Hi. And look at this, we've always wanted a nice big garage and with the rear lounge, we've not been able to have it. But with this new design, it's fantastic. It's the best of all worlds. Isn't it? Yeah. You love these graphics. Okay, we've got an external shower point. That's good. It's always handy to wash the boys off when, they, when they've come off the beach. Um, your LPG locker is here. There's your fresh water fill. Hey, honey. Hello. Fancy driving? I do, yeah. Huh? Yeah. What's it like in there? Um, it, it is beautiful. The um, the leather steering wheel's impressive, and there's lots of buttons to get to know. And have you seen the size of this screen? I haven't. Come and have a look. Wow. Hi hey. again. You're kind of blind at the front. <gasps> How cool's that? Very, very cool. Nice and easy. Right, let's have a look at the stereo here. Right, I found the key. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at the new dash. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, very. <gasps> look at this. Dad. Loving this. You know when I am driving? Yeah. No fiddling with my knobs. So it's got automatic aircon for the cab. Oh, right, yeah, right, climate control. Yeah, I remember seeing that. So six-speed manual gearbox we've got on here. And look, multimedia controls on the steering wheel. I guess it's going to have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well. Mm. Let's connect my phone. There, there it is. iPhone 13 connected. Use Apple CarPlay. Oh, fantastic. Look oh. at that. So we can use our Google Maps and all the apps. Look at that. How cool is that? That's really, really cool. And I tell you what, first impressions, this screen is very, very vibrant. It's crisp, isn't it's it? It's very, very crisp. We've got an LCD reversing camera. There you go, for the two cameras we saw in the back. And that, that beeping noise is to tell us that we're still plugged into the electric. So you can't <laughs> drive off with your electric plugged in. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, there is so much space. 
absolutely love the size of this front lounge the two chairs spin round so you've got two comfy armchairs which I like and there's stitching detail goes all the way through I think we'll get about nine people so this is the party van going forwards in here it's a Brisa ultra leather which is a vegan leather and is very high end and it feels it feels so soft and beautiful it's almost buttery which this yeah, that's oh electric it's opening the skylight oh, fantastic closing the skylight Excellent. and i found a fly net and wow how cool is that awesome. all the way the sofas are lovely and long in the main living room i reckon we could probably get four people on here if i choose to sit up and let them on the, the center table looks fantastic doesn't it it's Does lovely it it flips. What do I hold? Oh, there it is. Wow. Look at the size of that. Gives the lounge just massive. You can get four people over this side and three people over this side. It's a dinner party table. Isn't it? Yeah. How does it go up and down, do you know? Yep. Watch this. It's all electric. You ready? Go on. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look and at that. up as well. And I guess this forms part of the, the bottom bed as well. Right. How cool. How cool is that? This is a lovely place to be. But the other thing is, it, with our three sons, we don't need to make this into a, a bottom bed because that is absolutely long enough for one of them at least. Oh, right, I didn't think of that. So we'll have one sleep here mm. and then drop down bed up here. Yep. Fantastic. We'll have a look Bunk at beds. that in a minute. I'm not going to lie, when I saw the plans, I was a little bit worried about the size of the kitchen, but... I didn't need to be, this is perfect. There is actually a surprising amount of work surface because as well as what's here, that pops up. I think that is probably more than we've got already. I think you're right, yeah, absolutely. I think so. Absolutely. Love the fact that there are two big up top cupboards. Yeah. I don't know what's going in there, but whatever it is, you're reaching it down. <laughs> the microwave is a fancy flatbed mi microwave. Right, it doesn't have the spinny dish anymore, right? Exactly, okay. so that's going to be easier to clean and more efficient, energy efficient. There are two plugs and a light switch, a good size cooker, and um, I'm assuming, oh, oh, it's a drawer. That's really useful because the one we've got at the moment just flips down and it's- What do you think, uh, pots and pans? I don't know yet. Okay. I don't know, it's magic. I don't have to choose yet. And <laughs> um, the middle tall cupboard. <gasps> Spice rack. Look how clever that is. It's a, it's a double-ended door. So actually now, this makes sense. This will go on here. Give you even more work surface, how about yes. that? Yes, and that'll go there. I, in fact, I don't care where it goes. That's a kid's job, washing up. This is a really good deep cupboard. <laughs> Three gas, and one electric hob on the top. We've got a grill and an oven. That is great. We can get lots of ice cream in that. We go one way, we go the other way. How does this one work? Is it a drawer, is it a cupboard? <gasps> it's another drawer! Wow. That might be where the pans go because they're quite deep. And above us up here is an Omnivent fan right just like one of the max air fans really yeah an electric fan to suck in, in and out and out next to the kitchen is the bathroom let's have a look this isn't my new throne <laughs> but it, it is a nice little bathroom in fact it's a really big bathroom for a for a motorhome there's a decent amount of storage up here and also under the sink but my favorite feature an unusual feature is in the shower which is also a good size nice leggings Linz. Thank you. These are my business ones because they're black and white. <laughs> I love the shower. There's plenty of room in here. There's a little cubby for your soap. And actually my favorite feature is this. This is very cool. This is what we're going to be hanging our dressing gowns and our wet things on um, to dry. Like the rest of the van, it feels like it's very clean, smooth lines, very, very modern, it's beautiful. And we're in the rear lounge at the back, which you guys know is our favorite part. We always choose a good size rear lounge and this is fantastic. I don't think there's any doubt we could get at least six people in here. I think probably more seven. 
Definitely. Certainly an eighth of the squeeze. Yep. Um, there's definitely room to stretch out and lay down and have it as two singles. Yes. Huh? <laughs> Look, I've got plenty of room. And yeah. I'm six foot, guys. Yeah. So, really, really good. Um, we've got a TV point up at the back here and I can put a nice big telly up here if I wanted to. So that's pretty good. Yep, there are two, four, six lockers up top. Yep. Um, for storage. This is my favourite fancy <laughs> um, feature. Look at this. A quick little pop-up table. How and, of course, that? and of course under here is where you've got the new garage, which, you know, this is this has just made what was our favourite layout even more perfect, if you ask me. Yep, and... Da -da -da. Two big wardrobes. Two hanging wardrobes. And in Steve's is the Aldi heating. Yes, the wet central heating that's in it. Yeah. This is fantastic. Really happy, really excited to... Yeah, uh, love it, guys. Access to the garage. Is access to the from garage. From the inside. I think George will be climbing in through there. What do you reckon? Well, maybe we're getting sleep in there. <laughs> it's got heat in, it'll be fine. Brilliant. <laughs> and one thing I noticed is um, the new lightings, they all got USB sockets. There's more USB sockets in here than you can shake a stick at. There, really there is. are a lot of USB and they're all 2.1 one high power um, yes high power <laughs> usb there are loads there are, there's got to be 20 usb sockets in here i haven't counted them so don't hold me to that but yeah. it's full of usb sockets you can charge your phone anywhere you are in the van mm. Love it's it. nice windows all the way around and a good um skylight above as well instead of the over cab bed the bed in here is moved further back i'm going to show you how it works down We'll go further but that's enough for today the front bed is really lovely and spacious there's plenty of room up here for kids and adults i'd say i'd be quite happy sleeping up here it feels a lot more spacious than the old over cab beds do because it's just more light there's more light coming in through the uh the front skylight the blinds do close we saw those earlier um you can set the height of this to different heights so it could go a lot further down but i think where we are now is probably about perfect it fits the ladder and we can put at least one or two of the other boys down underneath and i think the boys won't be as hot up top like this there's no. more room for air to move around up there right much better air circulation and actually because that will open and we've got the omnivent there the airflow could be really lovely through here without air con it's a great this place be, to be, isn't it? Yeah, a lot more comfortable than the over cab, cab bed. I like it. And the same button, we'll take it back up. That's so cool. The 874 comes with six berths, so we've seen the two at the back. Um, this diner area turns into a second lower bunk and the drop down bed comes as well. As well as that, we've got five traveling seats. There's the driver and passenger, and then this area can be made up into three individual traveling seats, which are actually so much more comfortable than the, the seats we used to have in the, in the van that we've got. The boys did complain on long journeys that the dinette wasn't as comfortable. Yeah, I uh, think we might stop the complaints on that. It's nice and comfortable. Yeah, they've done a good thing with the Aguti seats in this. Fantastic. Yeah, beautiful. So clearly this is where you put a TV because we've got TV points here. Cigarette, lighter adapter point, um, 240 and more USBs. So many USBs in this. The Audi 3020 wet central heating and the new Swift control panel. I'm really looking forward to getting this one because our other one does not have this on it and this looks fantastic. And there guys is a new Swift Contiki 874. What a van. Oh, she's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just have a look. Yeah. Look at that, it's massive, <laughs> massive. Um, we've always loved the rear, rear lounge, as you know, but to have the rear lounge and to have a garage, it's perfection, yep. absolute perfection. And, and not just for the practicalities, it looks beautiful. The the attention to detail on the finish, it's the soft up. fabric is beautiful. I I love how clean and contemporary it is. And this the, is... the seat backs as well, the way that they're shaped as well. It's so comfortable. Everything yeah. about this. I love this van. Guys, we're going to be at the NEC show. Um, we should be there every day at the NEC. 
Um, so come along, say hi, come and grab a sticker. Yeah, make sure you say hi. Don't be worried about saying hello. Yes, if you see us, do come and say hello. Um, hope you've enjoyed the tour and the first look at the Swift Kentucky 874 and we'll see you on the next one. See you later.